Hello ASCPS staff. In this short video tutorial, we're going to talk about an option to share a file in Google by getting a link to that file. Now for this one, let's start off by talking about why you would prefer this option instead of the option to share by inviting people. If you're sharing with a large group of people, that option to invite them can be very tedious and time consuming. If you're sharing with sort of an unknown group, like you're not entirely sure who needs to be invited to the file. It might be parents, but maybe not all parents, maybe only the parents of the kids who are participating in this particular club. Ideas like that, where you're not entirely sure who needs access to the file, the option to get a link is a great way to do that. And finally, if you plan to take this file and embed it or link it in a course of yours or on a teacher website or something like that, then this option to get a link to the file ensures that everybody will be able to access it. So how do we get a link to share a file? There are two ways, just like there are two ways to invite somebody. The first is to select the file here where it appears in Google Drive, and then click on the icon here in the upper right-hand corner that sort of looks like a little belt buckle. When you click on that, it gives you the option to get a link to the file. Now, right now, this file says that it is restricted. So only people that I invite would be able to open it if I were to copy this link and send it out. So right Right now it's not accessible to anyone yet unless I've invited them. If I click the drop down next to restricted, I see two additional options. I can make the link accessible to anyone in AACPS, meaning that they would have to be logged in with their AACPS Google account, or I can make this link accessible to anybody even members outside of AACPS like our parents so that they would be able to access this file. I mentioned two ways to do that. The second option is to double click to open up that file and then click on share in the upper right and the lower half of the share menu, the same place where I would type in a user's name to invite them, is dedicated to getting a link to share the file. Right now, again, it says restricted. If I want to change that, I click right here where it says share in AACPS. I've now changed the settings to allow it to be accessed by anyone in AACPS with the link. Once again, if I click the drop down, I can uh, open it up even further by clicking on anyone with the link. And then once again, we have this option over here on the right hand side to choose the permissions that we want to give to people when they open and access this file. By default, it will always go to viewer permissions, but we can allow anyone with the link to comment or anyone with the link to edit the file. Those three permissions are identical to what you get if you invite individuals. If you plan on putting a document on something like a teacher website or linking it in a class, it's highly likely that you're going to choose that viewer option. But if you want to create a collaborative assignment for the students in your class using the anyone with the link or anyone in AACPS with the link can edit is a great way to give all of them the ability to edit the file simultaneously. Now, don't panic if that sounds like it has the potential to get messy. Remember that you always have version history to help you go back and fix a file that has a few changes that you didn't intend. And that's how to share a file by getting a link to it. 